phone. You have to come with me right away. My father's very ill. The goal of our project was to recreate the Westworld player piano. A uh, player piano accepts a ream of sheet music and presses piano keys automatically to play a song. In our project, rather than using mechanical sensors, we wanted to create an array of digital sensors to read off black and white lines, essentially a barcode from sheet music, and then play that on an audio speaker. The project involved three main components. The first was a mechanical sheet music feeder that rotated a piece of paper mechanically. The second was an audio speaker to actually play the music output. And the third and most important was an array of digital sensors to read the lines off the music. For our project, we used an Arduino Due, an Arduino Uno, a servo motor, a speaker, and the relevant parts to construct the speaker, and a line follower sensor array. For our sensor construction, we used uh, eight line follower sensors in an array that you can find on any Bobot infrared that, as an input, measure black lines against a white background on a piece of paper, and as an output, produce the sensor re results into an Arduino DUE into the SCL SDA I2C ports. The Arduino DUE takes in the input from the light array sensors and outputs a voltage sine wave to the speaker corresponding to the sensor that picks up the black line. For our speaker assembly, we used a 3 watt 20 kilohertz speaker soldered into a printed circuit board circuit that included three capacitors, a potentiometer, a chip carrier and a op amp chip. To power the mechanical motor system, we used one of the servos from a Bobot. The servo was connected to a piece of acrylic tubing, which was then connected to a second piece of acrylic tubing at the other side of an A4 box by two elastic rubber bands. The bands created friction with the first piece of acrylic and therefore also uh, managed to rotate the second piece. We could control the speed of the motor with a variable resistor which served as an analog input to the Arduino Uno. Like I said, I built a wall. 